Welcome to Cadence Design Systems Pointwise Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. In this video, we'll introduce you to the latest version of our automatic surface mesh command. First, I'll select this geometry model in the display window, go up to the Create menu, and pull down to the very top Automatic Surface Mesh. This brings us to the Global tab of the Automatic Surface Mesh command, where we have a number of characteristics and settings that are available that do impact the surface meshing process in a global fashion, and hence the name of the tab. At the very top, there's some feedback for you about the geometry that you brought into the command, followed by a frame labeled resolution where you can set up some resolution controls for the clustering of the grid, some additional goals in terms of uh, aspect ratios and growth rates, types of cells. There's an advanced frame here that's closed by default with some additional advanced settings. And then finally at the bottom, there's some diagnostic feedback available to you uh, on this global tab. Clicking on over to the Surfaces tab, we have a couple of frames here where you can set up additional resolution control at the, at the top. This allows you specifically to set a maximum edge length per quilt in your model. Those are highlighted in the display window as you mouse over them. Below, we have additional control over what we call mapping, which allows you to control how pointwise will mesh what we refer to as thin or narrow surfaces such as these that you find on the trailing edge of our geometry. And then finally, going over to the Boundaries tab, uh, just as the name implies, there are controls here for you to be able to specify uh, resolution that will be applied near or at the boundaries of the quilts in your geometry. The command has three default classifications that are set up for you when you come in to the command for the first time. Any of the boundaries that meet the criteria for these three types will be uh, combined into that particular uh, boundary type automatically. And additionally, you can create your own uh, boundary classifications and assign values as necessary for your meshing goals. Once all of these parameters have been specified for your particular project, you simply go back to the Global tab. If you wish to, you can click on Show Size Field to get a preview of the clustering targets around the geometry, or you can simply just click on Create Surface Mesh and have the surface grids or domains generated. There's going to be additional follow-on Tutorial Tuesday videos that go into all of these features per tab in more detail, so please do look for those to come. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button or subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, drop us a line below or connect with us via LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.